Hey, what's going on? DJ from Eternal Visuals here, and today I have a pretty special video. Today we're going to recreate Bethesda's Starfield logo animation. I love how simple and clean this sci-fi design feels. We should be able to accomplish this effect in under five minutes, so let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. There are only two assets we need for this effect. I found a font called Couture that matches our Starfield font, and a Mountain Galaxy picture from Unsplash.com. Both of these are free and linked in the description. Let's open up After Effects. Create a new project. Title it Starfield Logo. Create a new comp. Title it Starfield Motion. We're going to go with a 1920 by 1080 for our resolution, 2997 for our frame rate, and a 10 second timeline. Create a new text layer. Type in your desired text. I'm going with Motion Design. It just happens to have a T and an I the same distance away to get a centered circle for our logo. If you're using a different title, you'll have to get creative with which letters you use. Change the font type to Couture Bold, font size to 70, tracking to 350, change the color to white, and use your align tools to center vertically and horizontally. Click and hold the shape tool and select the circle tool. Click and drag while holding shift on your comp to create a perfect circle. Use the align tools to move it to the center of the comp. Grab a corner while holding Shift and Alt to expand and contract the circle size. Keep adjusting and moving the circle around until the left and right movers align to the center of your two letters. Change the color to white, fill to none, and stroke to 15. Once you can see the stroke width, adjust the circle to align. Once it's in place, right-click your text layer in pre-comp. Title it Text. Grab your pen tool and begin to shift click around your text to create straight lines, cutting off the bottom of your first letter and the top of your second letter. Now your circle should be replacing the extensions of your letters. Right click your circle and pre-comp, title it circle. Then duplicate that comp. Temporarily hide your top circle layer. Grab your pen tool and begin making a mask from the middle of your first letter to the bottom of your second letter using curves to stay inside the stroke width. Head to your effects tab and search for stroke. Drag it onto your circle layer and select all masks. Brush size to 6.5, brush hardness to 100, and paint style to reveal original image. Go to six seconds on your timeline and create an end keyframe. Go to the beginning of the timeline and change the end keyframe to zero. Ease in and out, and the first half of your circle is done. Select your other circle comp, and using the pen tool, create a mask line starting from the middle of your second letter to the top of your first letter. Bring your playhead to the beginning of the timeline and copy and paste your stroke effect from the other circle comp onto your new circle. And our circle animation's finished. Select your layers, right click, and pre-comp. Title it Starfield Main. Let's add some subtle movement. Open your scale property with hitting S on your keyboard. Go to 7 seconds 15 frames and create a scale keyframe. Bring your playhead to the beginning of the timeline and adjust the scale to 95. Ease in and out. Hit T on your keyboard to open opacity settings. Create a keyframe at 0. Then go to 3 seconds on your timeline and bring it back to 100. Ease in and out. To fade out, head to 7 seconds 15 frames and create a keyframe. Then move the playhead 1 second and drag it to 0. Ease in and out. Let's add our background. Drag your galaxy image under your main comp. Bring the scale down to 37 and your position height to negative 12. Go to your effects tab and search for levels. Drag it onto your image. To dull down the image slightly, change the gamma to 0.66 and the output white to 150. Hit P on your keyboard to open the position property. Make a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline, jump to 7 seconds 15 frames and change the height to 960. Ease in the end keyframe only. Head to 6 seconds on your timeline and create an opacity keyframe. Move to 7 seconds 15 frames and bring it to zero. And there we have it. Whoever worked on the visual identity for this game did a phenomenal job. The movement and simplicity of this design says so much with so little. I hope you learned something today and can't wait to see you in the next one.